Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. It's a new day for me, so uh, you know it was a cliffhanger for me as well. I, <laughs> I had to, I couldn't, I couldn't uh, finish this combat. It's the worst, I think, honestly, the worst decision I've made for Baldur's Gate Three is making it a series and not doing like six hour streams of it because it's really not a game you can do in one hour sessions it's the game that is gonna just like eat your day and um i really just want to keep playing it it sucks sometimes because i'm like ah i got other things i need to do and record but you know uh first world problems i know anyway uh we got tav here we're going to what are we gonna do with him we are just gonna do a, like these are goblins. I really don't think that uh, they they weren't using like major spells. Wow, we just like one hit that dude. You know, case in point. I think oh, we did critical hit. Wait, he's still alive? He's got one health left. God damn. Well, good for him, I suppose. Let's see what this uh, what the bear does. Yo, can you? Yeah, there you go. Kill that goblin with one health. And he jumped over to the other. Oh, that's cool. They gave him a little jump animation. Um, Shadow Heart has only a 50%. What's the Sacred Flame at? 45%. Sacred Flame is starting to feel not relevant anymore. Um, what do we got here? Spirit Weapon. Oh, I haven't done Spirit Weapon yet. Oh, I love Spirit Weapon though. Create three illusionary du du duplicates of yourself to distract attackers. Each duplicate duplicate increases your armor class by three. Interesting. That is actually really cool. Um, we could do charm person, but these are goblins, and also they have a quite a high success rate against that. Why don't we just do like a bolt? Why why does this goblin have a like such a high bar? Wrath. What what is making them uh, so difficult to hit? Hold on, I'm trying to I'm trying to move. I was I was wondering if maybe it would be easier to hit this guy over here. Oh, okay, now we can't. I, I messed that up actually. Uh, forty five percent chance. Yeah. Yeah, we missed. That's fine. I figured they'd disengage, but the yeah, they they fell on their ass. Fantastic, this uh, advantage, and that's how that's supposed to work. What is this business where if someone's prone, they're harder to hit? Solasta, yo, I don't mean to compare games. I understand we're on a completely different level here, but what is this business with characters being harder to hit when they are prone? I push them on their ass. They should be easy to kill, not more difficult. I don't get it. I do not understand. Don't linger. Please. For the love of God. Anyway. We uh, we killed the fleeing goblin. Dash, what are they doing? Oh, the bear. Oh, 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 oh. Hunter's mark broke. What are you doing, dude? Oh, he opened the warg den. Oh, dude. I mean... <laughs> I have to say that was that's really impressive AI that uh, they're smart enough like maybe maybe it's like oh third round or second round they n knew to disengage did they actually disengage or did they eat an attack of opportunity I think they actually had to eat an attack of opportunity so maybe they're not that smart but either either way they opened the work den that's pretty cool we could we should be able to reclose the work den um, I guess I could have possibly done it with Asterion because he has Mage Hand. Um, what do we have? Githyanki Psionics Jump. This is a ritual. Mage Hand. Oh, Githyanki. She has Mage Hand as well. We could possibly do this. How far is that? 18 meters? I really need to change that set setting like right now. Where is it? Interface, tooltips, when pinned, always. Show me tooltips, always just show me tooltips. North facing minimap. Um, I actually prefer that as well. Show text background. Um, what does this mean? Enable to increase dialogue overhead text visibility. Eh, I'm, I'm okay with that. Add arrows, hotbar, containers, always show item stack splitter. Where is accessibility, maybe? Well, 
Where is it? Gameplay. Auto save, cross save, show genitals. <laughs> Yo, I, I metric, imperial. There we go. We're done. We did it. Uh, I see. I've seen people talking about this karmic dice. It's funny that it's the it defaults to on, and I don't disagree with that. I actually think that that would be a good rule for actual D and D. Um, and then Twitch integration. I really wish, like, I don't stream anymore on YouTube, generally speaking, but I really wish that we would have integration for any other platform than Twitch. Sorry to complain about it here, but... Um, alright. So we have Gith Yankee Psionics Mage Hand. I don't know if I'll be able to reach with that. 60 feet, I mean, it's pretty good. Let's see. I'm gonna move as far forward as I possibly can, and we're gonna try a Mage Hand. Not enough space. What do you mean not enough space? What does that mean? I can reach almost into the den. How come I can't reach that lever there? Okay, well, whatever. It probably be means that the goblin is taking up the room. We can't jump. Um, can we do a Githyanki psionics jump? No target? Oh, I see. I have to cast it on myself. Well, that's fine. I wasn't going to reach anything anyway. What is it? Second wind? We're good. Uh, well, we're going to fight two wargs, and there's not much we can do about that. I tried, though. You can't say I didn't try. Um, we have a 55% chance... What is our weapon doing for us? Weapon enhancement plus one. I guess it just gives us the plus one to hit. Can we do... Uh, we should probably keep Lacerate for the wargs. Yeah. Hey, hey buddy, why don't you... Um, why don't you make friends with a bear? <laughs> Bear? What? What is, what is your problem? I pushed the goblin into the bear. It put the goblin's threat range out. Like, it put the bear in the goblin's threat range, and then the bear moved outside the threat range and took an attack of opportunity. God damn. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's funny, but also, what the... You know, what the heck, bud? Concussive smash. Why do we only have a 50-50 chance of hitting them? That's wild to me. They saved against the smash. Um, all right, let's let's do a dash. Actually, okay, let's hide. No trace. And then we're just gonna kill this lad. Sneak attack. Yeah, that was pretty good actually. Hey, that was pretty good. Um, we're not hiding anymore. Shooting spider companion. Oh, God. This guy can summon spiders. Okay, um... Well, Lazel is gonna have her work cut out for her. Cleave. Hey, she's got Cleave. I love Cleave. Um... But I can't get much closer, so I'm just gonna do it. Like, I'll do a lacerate. Yeah! Yeah, there we go. They're bleeding too. We'll do a pommel strike as well. Yeah! They're dazed. <clears throat> they're bleeding, they're dazed. Attack of opportunity! Oh, critical miss. Bear is eating it right now. Well, technically, the bear is being eaten, but you know. Conjured spider. Um, command a cute creature to, to flee, move closer, freeze, drop to the ground. Can we do this? It's a 50% chance. Drop, flee, approach, halt. Um, let's do an inflict wounds. Yeah, 19 damage. Generally speaking, I miss with that spell, so it's quite nice to, um, 
to actually do something with it. Why did the bear heal? Shadowheart, you need to kill this here, Gabo. Magically change all aspects of your appearance. I like Shadowheart has like actually really good stealth stuff going on. Help. Remove burning. Okay, we don't need to do that. All right, let's just do a normal attack. I guess, uh, yeah, I figured we were going to miss. Let's do shield of faith on Asterion. He could use the AC. Asterion, um, let's have you disengage. And, um, run over here. And we're going to have you throw down some more grease. Let's do like right there. Um, Lazel should be okay. Actually, I wonder if like here would be better. Now we need to, the wargs are probably the priority. And I put it near the torch. So actually that grease burned up. So that actually created a, a more interesting environment than I had uh, bargained for. I forgot about that. I forgot about interacting uh, elements there. We have a 65% chance to hit them. We could do uh, like a jump, like right there. I don't know if that'll put us in the fire and then start doing cleaves. <clears throat> Cleave. Hey, yeah. Uh. Nice. I mean, it's not a lot of damage, but combined, it's a lot of damage. Bite on Lazel. Lazel's really getting in there. Okay, um, the spider is almost dead. We can probably take out the, the spider quite easily. Can we do this as much as we... No, we can only do this once per, per short rest. Deal regular damage and possibly inflict a gaping wound. Um, Sacred Flame is not good against the spider. Command, um... Channel Divinity. What is this? Oh, yeah, that, that lets us regain some health back. Uh, Bane. Up to three creatures receive 1d4 penalty to attack rolls and saving throws. We should probably do some Bane at some point. That seems really good. Also, Blade Ward seems real good. Um, this is a 4 to 13 damage. We can probably kill them with this. Nope, we missed. Okay, Shadow Heart. You have a 60% chance of killing this guy with Inflict Weak. Or, uh, we'll do that. Let's just kill that goblin and stop, stop, uh, you know, worrying about the details, like how many spell slots we have. I'm actually going to push this goblin out of the way here. No, I tried. The reason being is I'm, I don't know if they're um, currently threatening Asterion. Yes, they are. Um, well, that's a bummer. You know what? I'm just going to take the attack of opportunity and stop worrying about stuff like this. I mean, I'm almost dead, but that's fine. Can possibly do a sneak attack on them. Oh, I just, I just moved back into their threat range. Whatever, dude. <laughs> Lazel. Oh, this guy's almost dead. Just kill them. Nice. Pardon the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. Hey, Halson. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Or either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. I'm gonna have to pause here. Give me a second. Okay, sorry. Garbage is very loud. Uh, very noisy business. CC. Halson. Either way, I owe you. I mean, I, I was told that he turned into a bear and left, so I knew that he turned into bear, and I also knew that he was probably in a, as a bear. 
so i it wasn't really lunacy so much as um you know i i figured that was halson but uh your house and the master i spoke to Nettie. she said you could help me with the parasite in my head uh let's go with that parasites in your head that you mean you have one of them Oak Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayers spawn. But... something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? I escaped from an ith uh, illithid ship after being infected. Maybe the process was interrupted. Perhaps. But I wouldn't want to place all my faith in blind luck. You weren't speaking lightly when you said you needed help. Let me tell you what I know. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles. But I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. Tell me what you've learned about the tadpole's origins. This magic isn't typical of how mind flayers procreate. No, this is different. Altered. The magic used is beyond me. It's either not of this world or so ancient as to be lost to even nature's memory. Um... You learned all this from your studies. Tell me what you what you've learned about the tadpoles' origins. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. Um Altered parasites secure at Moonrise Towers, maybe? Sounds like guesswork at best. Um, you seem to know a lot about this. Will you come with me to Moonrise? I wish I could, but there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. I've no right to ask more of you, but if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. How do I help? I already know how to help. I was just trying to find this guy before I went back to the grove. My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. It's too late to stop things from here. The goblins are already marching on the grove in force. You must get ahead of them. Muster the defenses. I'll go rescue the grove. Thank you. I know it's a great deal to ask, but the grove is everything to me. Hurry then, I will meet you there. May Sylvanus guide us. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of looting before oh, I go. go. Some gold, a spiked shield. Picked up one gold. What's in here? Anything good? Is it just a prison? How come I can't see inside? Oh, there we go. Ooh, look at all this stuff, actually. Wooden crate. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I take, we take food. We take all the food. Three potions of healing, that's quite nice. Sorry, I keep hitting escape when I don't mean to. Um, let's check out these chests up here. Wait, what? Mm. <clears throat> 
Uh, is steering. Let's do a short rest real quick. That took the edge off. Nothing in there, huh? Evidence chest. Oh, I see. Is there anything cool in there? Is that where I came from? Uh, grease bottle, smoke powder. Um, there, there is actually some good stuff in there, I think. Can't reach this. I, I disagree. I think I can reach that, actually. Okay, um... Oh, I see. I took create the, the mage hand first. And then we can go and grab things like smoke bomb. Out of reach. What do you mean out of reach, my dude? Like go up there and grab it. What is the point of mage hand if it can't do this? Like this is the whole point of mage hand, I thought. I'm trying. I really want that smoke powder bomb because they're actually quite valuable. And that grease bottle. Um, fly. There we go. Can I, how do I go like up? What happened? Okay, well, I mean, that was a, that was a waste. Objective noted. We have a toy block. Open up. Three. So we have one, two, and three, maybe? Where's two? There's Butcher Vrak. Uh, Warrior Burka, Warrior Plague. Where's, where's two? I'm, I'm beginning to worry that maybe two escaped. We're gonna go back to the grove right after this. Beastmaster's Chain. Animal friendship level one enchantment spell. I love that the equipment has spells in this game like It's really nice. Um, actually that's not a bad thing for what does this do? Oh, yeah dancing lights dancing lights has not been used even once so we're gonna swap that out I definitely have to do some management at some point arrow of arcane interference. Let's give that to Asterion Fire resistance arrow of construct slaying should give all arrows to Asterion. He's like our major bow person right now. Although that didn't doesn't need to be the, the case. We also, I mean, there's like, you know, Tav has a, a, a crossbow as well. How come we didn't put the helmet of smiting on him? Maybe I forgot to do that because I was so annoyed that I had to redo most of the last episode. What path lies before me? Line breaker boots, adrenaline rush. Once per turn, when you dash, you gain wrath for two turns. So now, like, where is the tooltip telling me where wrath is? Oh, I can highlight it. Okay, there we go. Adrenaline courses through your veins. You have a plus one bonus to damage with melee weapons. Um, and these are light, right? I'm pretty sure these are actually really good for Asterion. Watch your back. He had some decent boots, the water sparkers. Um, these are actually good too. Spring step boots, when wear dashes or takes a similar action during combat, they gain momentum. And what was momentum? Did we figure that out? Spurred on by a sense of urgency, the affected entity's movement speed is increased by five feet per remaining duration of this effect. Removed when restrained, incapacitated, prone. Um, we, sh we need to start sharing these boots because they're actually really good. Also, I, I did never handed out these speedy light feet because they're actually quite good too and they offer athletics Those would be good for Lazel um, Let's put those on her She doesn't dash very often the reason I gave it to um, What do I mean gloves of growling underdog Where it gains advantage on melee attack rolls while surrounded by two or more, fo more foes That is a hundred percent a Lazel Glove. What are these? 
Absolute Bane. On a melee hit, possibly inflict a 1d4 penalty to the target's attack rolls. Uh, oh, plus one to Sleight of Hands. Are these... I can't tell if these are medium or, or what, but if they're slight, they have Sleight of Hand, they might either be good for Shadow Heart or um, Asterion. Um... Shadow Heart doesn't seem to have sleight of hand. Oh, she. No, yeah, she's not proficient with it. Asterion, however, is proficient with it. So definitely these gloves are going to be good for um, Asterion. But are they. Do they count as medium armor? Apparently not. Apparently we're fine to use those. Um, we'll give them these boots. Once per turn, when you dash, you gain wrath. And Wrath is a bonus to hit. Uh, might be good for Lazelle, but she's already got some good boots. Yeah, she's got those athletic boots. We could give these to Shadowheart. Sorry, I, I meant to do this between rounds or between episodes. I crave blood. My face protects me. I really haven't done much uh, inventory management to speak of. I've been having too much fun, to be honest. All right, I think that I like Asterion's boots right now, so we're going to give these boots to Tav. So Tav has some water sparker boots. We haven't used this speak with the dead yet. We could do that, actually. There's plenty of people to talk to. The corpse remains silent. Oh, okay. Oh, I curse to put my hands on everything. Is there anything in here? There's some bones. Oh, there's some gold amongst the bones. Who'd have thought? Uh, anything in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, I mean, that's, that's everything. Um, let's head back to Emerald Grove. And see if we can't uh, help them against the on oncoming invasion. Asterion could use a, a heal as well. We're out of short rest, so... Oh, we should also um, divvy up some healing potions. Um... Yeah, Tav's got three of them. Shadow ha Heart has one. Asterion has almost all of them. Um, Lazelle has quite a few, so we can we can give three to uh, Shadow Heart. Never wanted the easy path. Well, well, we're good with that for now. I'm not sure where or who I'm supposed to talk to. Rescue Druid, defend the Emerald Grove from the Goblin attack, save the Druid invasion. Sorry, save the first Druid. I think I have to go downstairs. does really you know what let's do a long rest before we do this also that means i think we're going to be talking to someone yeah volo i need a quick word ah my good fellow quite the cozy setup you have here i'll just make myself comfortable thank you so much I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flayers, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> How did you find the camp? Finding is my job, my friend. If there's anything in the world worth knowing, I assure you, I do. What do you know about mind flayers? Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. 
The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. Um, I fought one of them. Here, on the Sword Coast. Impossible. Not only have I encountered a mind flare, I've killed one. That, that can't be. I was captured by mind flares before. I'm lucky to be alive. Um, let's say, uh, let's say, you know, I've also been infected with one of their parasites. That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. If only your disbelief could alter facts. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flayer? <laughs> Ridiculous. Isn't it? <laughs> um. Examine me. Find out for yourself. Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, dear sweet gods! Um, I want rid of this thing by any means necessary. If we managed it, we'd have a specimen of incredible rarity on our hands. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. Oh, Kira, the bard with nine lives. Tav is inspired. Uh, I've apparently completed, what, ten back... What was that? Complete ten background goals in a single playthrough. You are one with your character. I, I didn't realize I had done that already. Lola has decided to remain in our camp. Having such a learned scholar nearby might be useful. I receive Blazer of Benevolence. Remedial Rhymes. When you... Inspire an ally using bardic inspiration. You gain four temporary hit points. I mean, I'll accept it, but that's going, uh, that's, that's being wares right now. That's going to be added to wares. I don't expect that I will have a bard in this playthrough. Spare me a moment, if you please. I've something important to discuss with you. We've been traveling together for a while now, and it's just about time that I shared something with you it's a rather personal matter that i'd have preferred to keep quiet but needs must when the devil drives i have no choice but to speak you see i have this condition very different from the i'm gonna do a solo a favor and i'm going to go ahead and deadly. skip this and the reason being is I, i've decided which characters i want to play with and i do plan on doing future playthroughs with this character um uh, with in this game with other characters i'd prefer to like not know this stuff i i think if i have like one minor complaint about um Baldur's gate and i know i did this to myself um so it's it's really not a criticism of the game but i didn't realize having uh, other characters at my camp was even an option um and the fact that i can actually explore their backstory and their origin and all of their um, you know, their arc, basically, uh, means that you can kind of spoil future playthroughs for yourself. I understand that maybe there's uh, something to be said about, like, well, you could swap characters in and out if you wanted to, and um, basically treat your camp as almost a Swiss army knife of, like, having all of the people that you need. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's cool and all, but uh, for me, uh, personally, I like to pick a set of characters and then stick with it. Uh, my god may offer some guidance on how you may be cured. I like so I just don't to want to know oh. so often I You're addicted to, get my to magic. Hands okay, a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside So now I know Wouldn't that ruin the item trust me when I say the loss of the occasional wizard staff or tome of enchantment is a bargain Given the cost of allowing me to deteriorate It's been days since I last consumed an artifact since before we were abducted is time and by that i mean it's imperative that i find and consume strands of weave at the earliest possible juncture 
Sounds like no condition I've ever heard of. I'd say you're just fishing for loot. Please. I've better things to do with my time than hoodwink gullible adventurers out of their trinkets. I know that what I ask may seem unreasonable, but I promise I only make such a request because it is so incredibly important. Please, trust me. Your help could be the difference between life and death. Um, so as much as it sucks, I, I really want to have Gale in a future playthrough. I'm just going to try and, and kind of cut ties with them. I understand that I am asking for a lot, but I can't tell you everything. Not yet, anyway. Please reconsider. <laughs> I don't know how else I can explain the imperative nature of this issue. You can't simply dismiss it. Um, fine. I'm, I'm not going to talk to him anymore. We'll give him the, the bardic inspiration thing we just got. Thank you. hit the spot i can feel it work the magic it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside yeah yeah a metaphorical demon i haste to point out but no less dangerous and no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages such is the nature of all monsters um oh it's not so bad once you get used to it sincerely though I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. I obtain Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna not talk to Gail again if if uh, my intention is actually to do his playthrough in a future thing. And I mean like to be fair, I've also been following through on Shadow Hearts um story, and I don't really I w I wasn't intending on doing that either. I'm probably going to swap her out once I find um the dark one. I have learned by the way that the dark one um, isn't really, shouldn't really be a first playthrough character, but uh, you know, it's that is, it's just how it, it, it is sometimes. I, I rolled badly. I have enough camp supplies to restore all hit points and spell slots. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, yeah, am I done with being bloodless? The air is heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Uh, wipe the sweat from your brow. Your hands shake as they reach upward. Your forehead remains drenched no matter how much you wipe. Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly, your bones popping, what is this your angle? flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. We're just exhausted. Lower the blade before you do something foolish. It's just a fever. Rest will break it. trust my own mind so it seems i must trust yours i will wait but know this i am watching if the sickness does not pass come dawn i will end us all mm okay <laughs> well we got a lot of stuff going on right now I 
I came just in time. You are transforming. Is this the uh, other character that I had made? I know your voice, I've heard it before. Yes, you have. I saved you before. I'm here to save you again. Don't worry. You will not become a mind flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. Take the hand offered to you. much time so listen closely there is great potential within you it comes from that parasite your instinct is to resist the power it gives but you must accept it nurture it I will keep it from consuming you but for the sake of both of us you must learn to wield it oh yeah that's exactly what a mind flayer induced dream visitor would say, isn't it? Oh heck, I love neon skull space prisons. A fight for the fate of Faerun. A fight we are losing. For now. You can change that, but only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. Feel better, I promise. Snore. <sighs> Take four full long rests in a single playthrough. Adventuring is tiring business, was it? Apparently, I am one of very few percentage of people that have let Asterion bite me. I kind of want to see this here. Hold on a second. Um, oh, okay. Never mind. I was one of 3%. Now I'm one of 22% of players that have let the Styrian bite me. Um, strange. Okay. Well, that, that number like tripled overnight. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you. Didn't we already so do this? Has your research turned up anything that might help with this parasite problem? My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. Uh, how many times have you done this before? I saw you. I've dreamt of it a thousand times over. Uh, do it. Volo carefully holds one of your eyes open and begins to prod uncertainly with the needle. Endure the discomfort, let him carry on. The needle finds the gap between eyeball and socket. Volo frowns and begins to push. Clench your fists. Ow! Pain shoots through your body as the needle snags on your optic nerve. I think I have 
stop it! The needle seesaws back and forth, plucking the nerve like a harp string. Oh, bother. There's some obstacle in the way. I shall need a more robust implement. Now, nah, keep going. Volo carefully withdraws the needle from your eye. Then, reaching into his bag, he produces an ice pick. Uh... <laughs> I, the implement, but allow him to proceed. Do Volo it, yeah. slowly brings the ice pick closer to your eye. Now, don't move. <laughs> Uh, do it. Cold metal presses against the skin beneath your brow. And then... Tap, tap, stab. Do you feel that? Ha! Huh. I think we have the blighter on the run! Uh... Pobble, pobble. I agree. It's a feisty critter. Just... I like how this tears the pick from your brain with a violent jerk. Your eye plops down into the mud. Oops. Tret. He pauses, looks down at your eye, and recoils slightly as it sinks into the mud. That's going to be quite the uh, cure wounds. There appears to be an amount of cosmetic damage. You knocked my bloody eye out. Please, try not to overexert yourself. You're in a rather fragile state at present. I can't help but feel partly responsible. Perhaps there is something more I can do. What is this? Take this. A far superior relic to that old jelly you were chained to. Oh, heck I yeah. For size. And, um, it was very nice to have met you. I sure do I'm love sure cursed objects in my brain. Problem, one way or another. Far away from here, if you've a heart. Terribly sorry, my friend. Ta. He runs. He's running. <laughs> Uh, whoa, he's fast. He's gone. <laughs> All right. Um, what's uh, what's the deal here? Superior dark vision. Volo's ersatz eye. The damage wrought upon your ocular nerve during Volo's experiment is undone, allowing you to see to see invisible creatures. Look, it's always worth it. It's always worth it to see these horrible things through to their end. I can permanently see invisible creatures. Ah, uh, they do get to make a dexterity saving throw, however. Okay. Um, well, that was fun. I'm sure a lot of people watching this did not, uh, are not grateful for me having seen that through. We'll make it last. We always do. But, uh, I can't believe they just left. Leave it, son. No. Our so-called kin fled the moment their tails were in danger. Icaron, we're in for a hell of a fight. Focus on the matters at hand, not the ones you can't fix. What's going on? Some of the others took off in the middle of the night, left their own kin to fend for themselves. The fools. They'll never make it to Baldur's Gate on their own. Which is their problem now, not ours. Uh... She's right, the coming battle won't be easy. Exactly. And look, we're not on our own, are we? Not anymore. I know. Thank you for not running like the others. Halston's gonna help oh, us as well, right? Extra helping. They're cowards. 
Okay, that's just telling me about the uh, crash. We can't run forever. I'd rather stand and fight. Someone decided we were the best suited to see to any wounded. Better all round if you keep everyone in one piece up there. Trust me. Okay. So is this the... This is the tiefling camp. Everyone's okay here? I wish I could help on the walls, but... I wasn't a soldier, really. Just a trumped-up guard. I, I... I can't. I'm sorry. First druids, and now goblins. Lady Doom really has it out for us, doesn't she? I'm wondering if any of these guys can help us. We can talk after this is over, if we're alive. This place is cursed. I pray Arabella is safe with the other kids. Knowing her, she's fashioned a weapon out of a rock and some string. Please. I would run if I were you. Though it's probably too late for that already. Yeah, nice horns. Why aren't you on the wall? Yeah. Rabbits don't she had some uh, she had some elegance with those horns. Everyone else has got these kind of like jagged demon things going on. She had this kind of like a seraphith, seraphin kind of thing going on. Is is good. Um, where are the other doors? Oh, I have to go into the actual grove. Okay, we're going east. She just means you're our last hope, Roland. We uh, may need you to save the day. Um, why are people screaming? I guess th maybe the goblins are, are coming on their way already. I get, I feel like, um, map ping. Donny, it's time I actually, this is one of the few times where the map ch uh, changing is actually better. Accessibility, auto rotate camera. No, that's not what I wanted. I guess that's it's that's not the uh, camera. Sorry, sorry to have to do this. Um, accessibility, auto rotate camera off. Um, show cinematics. Where is the map interface? North facing mini map. Okay, there we go. Undo that. There we go. That makes that actually does make more sense. There's a tunnel down, but we are trying to get to the actual grove. I wonder if they're still working on the ritual. Doesn't look like it. Tom, give us courage. Lathanda to light. Saluna to guide, Kalimvor to show mercy. You recognize Kalimvor, the Lord of Death. The Tiefling thinks he will die soon. What is it? I'm, I'm busy. <laughs> mind if I join you in prayer? I do mind. This isn't exactly my bravest moment. I'd rather suffer it alone. I knew I smelled the stink of cowardice. Yo, be nice. You have to try. We need every able body or we're doomed. Oh, I don't mean to... And I'm not going to use a scroll of charm person. Oh. That's bad. We're doomed either way. Best to stop struggling and hope the end swift. Protect us. I think this is a yeah, this is a door. I'm surprised the map doesn't show it as being oh, I, I guess it does when I'm like right up against Go it. Away. <laughs> Go away. There's nothing in here for you, for any of you. 
What's going on here? I said go away! You people have endangered this sacred place long enough! This door is staying closed until you're gone, one way or another! Come on now, open up. There's people here who need shelter. We've been more than generous already! We have to take care of the Grove's future! Move away! Coward. Innocents are gonna die thanks to you. Then this sacred grove could be a comfort to them in their final moments. But this door is staying closed. Now leave! Go rejoin the others, kid. Mm. Yeah, it's rough. Where is Halson? Where is everybody? Where is anybody? Um, I was trying to get underground. I know there's another access point. Have I been over here? Southeast? I don't think I have. It's not really the time to explore, but I, I'm really kind of at a loss here. Show us mercy. Oh, interesting. Well, there's actually quite a lot over here. Um, yeah, let me let me do this real quick. There's definitely something over there. Objective noted. Open up. Silver ingot and a scroll of sleet storm. I don't know who. I, maybe anyone can can use that. Um, I'll send that to Shadowheart. She should have some more spells. I know what to do. Okay, I need to find, uh, figure out how to get, I guess, downstairs. They've locked up the doors, but we know there is an alternative way to get there. Alright, sorry about that. Let's, um, I'm just gonna, actually, I might do, like, another pause and just, like, explore the whole grove until I see something relevant. And if I try, I'll try and do an unpause, like super hastily so that we don't miss any dialogue give me a second all right actually we might have something right here admiring my beautiful barricades might not be pretty but they'll stop a charging warg probably if you're looking for something to do they could probably use a hand down in the cave uh well how do i get there holding up all right i'm fine you don't have to keep checking. It's this. Won't pretend I expected to see you back again. Bloody glad, mind. People are scared. Zevlor's doing what he can, but... Well, seeing you on the walls might put the steel in their spines. Mine too. Yep. I'm gonna... I'm gonna help. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how to, like, get this whole thing started. You again. Just when I thought today couldn't get any worse. What are you talking about? I almost attacked that barrel. I really didn't mean to do that. Don't spare the fire arrows. Let's see if goblins are prettier with a coat of burning oil on. I've seen death by fire before. Not a pleasant way to go. That's not something that uh, Lazel would say. Those barrels make a fine target. One strike could set you alight. I'm not afraid of fire. They call us Hellspawn. Maybe it's time they face a bit of hell in return. We can dip weapons into s stuff. I, I think that's something I should try is uh, actually doing that with these barrels. Afraid you might actually have to fight. No, Asherak already. You're back. Nice to see a familiar face. Let me see your wares. I wish I had better, but this is all I have. Uh, maybe we should get 
a decent short bow. Hunter's Mark, that's actually quite nice. Does it offer it as a bonus action? Uh, Feller of Monsters, you have advantage against monstrosity type enemies. Oh, monstrosity types only, okay. Uh, Great Club, Mace, Longbow. Uh, that's a martial weapon, as I understand, and I often find myself in this situation where it's like, oh, Longbow, except no one can use it, you know. Longbow is quite good if you can use it. No one can, though. Um, padded Armor. I don't think we can take any of this, really. I could sell some stuff, though. I don't know if I should sell my Silver Ingot. Um, oh, I don't want to sell my Githyanki Boots. That doesn't sound good i'll just switch to trade and i'm just gonna i know we're we're kind of wasting time right here bloodstone um i am trying to find the the way to instigate the next part of the quest you'll have to forgive me um if it's not directly obvious to me yet May Tamora's luck twist your way. What an odd way of saying goodbye. I kind of dig it though. It's definitely not um, stock standard, you know. Times. Need to find a way forward. All right, I'll do a pause here, and I'm going to try and find uh, how to progress this. You can tell everyone oh. about it. Hmm? What's this? Oh, Rika. Oh, they, um, the, the kind of mute tiefling, um, just got called out. I wondered if that was anything. Hey, what about the shabby nothing. door? No, this is nothing. <laughs> okay, okay, uh, this might be something. Look at this place. Like a pen of hogs waiting for the butcher's knife. We need to act. Quiet. Some of the children might hear you. Oh, perish the thought they overhear a little honesty once in their short lives. Another word and it won't be the goblins you have to worry about. Enough, both of you! Um... You three are making me root for the goblins. I'm merely pointing out this whole strategy is sorely lacking. Oh, share your tactical wisdom with us then. No, don't. Please. <laughs> I've been there. Ah, a familiar face. Didn't think I'd see you again. I've never been more thrilled to be wrong. Blow the horn! The trap has been set! Today, we write our own legend! That was, uh, Just kind of sudden. We... All right, here we go. Maybe secluded chamber. No, this is the same tiefling place. God damn it! Jesus, the episode is already over. I cannot find the way to progress. Uh, all right. Well, maybe we'll end it here, and I'll start the next episode after I find um. You know the next you know how to, how to basically start the invasion if that makes sense uh if you are enjoying the series definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time sorry about the uh delay here but uh, i'm trying my best